guys, this is Smoke Trails, and today I'm going to show you how to restore life to old sun bleached antlers using coffee grounds. Now, you can prepare your coffee grounds any way you want. You can get pre ground coffee grounds. Uh, you can take your coffee grounds right from your filter, uh, from the coffee you had at breakfast. In this case, I'm going to mix it up a little bit and I'm going to use uh, whole bean coffees and I'm going to grind them right here. Um, now, for this video, I'm going to be using Kicking Horse Coffee 454 horsepower. Um, it's a really, really dark roast. So we're going to get some coffee beans into the old magic bullet here. Okay, so we got a nice fine grind coffee. And we'll put it into the bowl. Okay, now you want to add some water. Not too much water to make the uh, coffee grounds liquidy, but enough to sort of make them a a paste sort of consistency. Just keep adding water until you know it almost starts turning liquidy. Alright so you got a thick paste of basically coffee grounds and water and that's the sort of consistency that you want. Now I'm going to put some gloves on to make it a little bit less messy. And before you start rubbing the uh, coffee ground paste in you want to make sure the antlers are really really clean I just uh, cleaned these in the bathtub along with a bunch of other sun bleached antlers that have been outside for a long time. Um, so you want to get all the dirt out of the cracks. Uh, the best way I found is to just soak them in a tub with, uh, with a bit of uh, soap, uh, dish soap, and let them soak for six or seven hours and then give them a good scrub, uh, let them dry out in the sun, and they should be ready to, uh, uh, to put the coffee grounds on. Now I'm just going to basically take a clump of this coffee ground paste and I'll start at the base because you want the base to be darker and the tips of the antlers, the antler tines will be uh, the lightest so you just grind that in by hand and the coffee grounds are going to drop, so that's why I put a big plastic sheet on my table here so you can get messy. If you don't want to be wasteful, you can just use uh, old coffee grounds from breakfast or, or the last pot of coffee you made. I'm not doing that in this case, I'm, you know, I like my antlers caffeinated, so I'm going to give them a bit of fresh caffeine here. And when you get to the tips of the antlers, you want them to be a bit lighter. But don't worry if you get a bit of coffee grounds on them, because you can always sand it off later to give it a more natural look. And it helps if the coffee grounds are really finely ground, so they get into all the cracks in the antler. I find that coffee works really well for restoring antlers. Uh, it gives them a really natural look because you know antlers in the wild they get they get brown because deer are uh, rubbing them up against saplings and trees and bark uh, and dirt and uh, all those materials are getting onto the antler uh, and when you use coffee it's sort of like a simulated sort of dirt and mud texture. Um, and it stains the antlers really well. You can also use tea, um, but I find that coffee works really well. Okay, I think that's pretty much good so far. So now I'm going to let it dry, and then after it's dry, I'm going to give it a good brush with just a, a scrub brush like this, just to get all of the excess uh, grounds off of it. Um, and then after that, I'll give it a clear coat of uh, clear uh, spray paint uh, to give it a sort of glossy look that you typically see on antlers. Alright, now these antlers are good to go. Put a little bit of clear polished spray paint on them, gave them a bit of uh, highlights on the tips, 
Um, looks a lot better than it was, that's for sure. Uh, no more sun bleach except on the skull. Uh, so now you can use the antlers for whatever you want. You can mount them on your wall, uh, make knives out of them, candlestick holders, antler chandeliers, whatever the kids are doing with antlers these days. Um, pretty much looks as good as new. Okay, thanks for watching everyone. Hope you learned something and hope you have a set of antlers at home to restore like new. Have a good one.